What is up guys, welcome back to another flea market grab video. If you guys are enjoying the videos, hit that like button and let me know, it helps the channel grow. Go ahead and drop a comment down below, I try to respond to all the comments I can. And hit that sub button if you guys are not already and you guys do enjoy these videos. So let's go see what we can find this week. Picked up a couple Build-A-Bears for $2. You know I had to grab the Charmander because everybody and their mom's a Pokemon fan now. And then of course we got the Yoshi as well. They both got shirts on too, so I'm gonna pass that up for two bucks. <laughs> Bucks. Had to pay up for it, but super clean. A couple hats, two for five. Another hat, this one is an Anko Penguins one, pretty cool. All right guys, we are back and I'm gonna go ahead and jump into everything that I picked up this. So starting off with the video games, for only eight bucks, I picked up a 2DS right here. This is like the flat one. I have yet to test it, charge it, um, it's dead. The dude told me it works, but people always say that and then I get home and they never work. But for only eight bucks, I went ahead and took the gamble on that one. Next up for $10, I picked up a copy of Octopus Strip on the PS4. When I see these like obscure anime games, I usually pick them up because they're always like worth something. I think this one's worth probably like 30 to 40 ish. Um, I picked it up for 10 bucks and it is complete and everything. And then moving on to the last video game find of this weekend, definitely the best one. We got the Sega Dreamcast that I paid $45 for. So it is your just simple white console. Um, I already own the Sega Sports one, the black one, so I don't need this one. So I will be selling this. Came with two controllers, one of them has the VMU, the memory card, and then it also has the AV cables and the uh, power wire, and it works great, I already tested it. But the reason why I picked it up for $45 had nothing to do with the console, like if it was just a console I would probably would have left it. But what I wanted was one of the games. Um, the two games I really don't care too much for are NFL Blitz 2001 right here, I'm actually selling this one with the console, and then um, NCAA 2K2 right there. But the game that I wanted, uh, this game is probably worth like double what I paid for the console and all this together. It's a copy of Skies of Arcadia right here on the Dreamcast. So when I seen this in the box, I was like, oh man, please let the disc be in there. I opened it up, disc two, <laughs> and then I was like, okay, come on, let the disc one be in there, and it was. And then after that, I was like, all right, now come on, let the disc be in good shape. Um, and each one of them is in really good shape. So this is one that I'm gonna be adding to my personal collection because I don't own this one. And it's getting harder and harder to find Dreamcast games. A couple years ago, I used to find them all the time, especially the consoles, but now I rarely see them, especially titles like this. Picked up two plushes. I guess I'll go ahead and throw them in because they are video game related. Uh, the first one is this Yoshi Build-A-Bear right here. Uh, I got both of these for $2 each. This one right here is probably worth about like $25. So that's why I picked this one up. And the second one I picked up, of course, everybody's on their Pokemon hype right now. So this one's worth probably like $35, $40. Bucks. Uh, it's the Charmander Build-A-Bear. And he has like the little Pokeball shirt on too. I don't know if that helps value. So that's why I scooped those up. Oh, I actually did have one more video game item I forgot to show you guys. It's uh, Wave Bird, the Platinum Silver one. I don't have the um, receiver for it, unfortunately. But I went ahead and scooped this up for three bucks, I think is what I paid, because it still has the battery cover on it. So definitely still worth three bucks. Now let's go ahead and uh, jump into the hats, I guess. First one I picked up for a dollar. We got the Elmo hat right here. These have Elmo embroidered on the front. And that one is by Nissen. Kind of scooped this one up because it was only a buck. These next three hats I actually got like in a big bundle of clothes. Um, it was these three hats and then a bunch of shirts. I didn't record the shirts because I was kind of busy digging through the bags. Uh, the dude, he didn't really have them out. They were kind of in bags, so we had to like dig through the bag. So I didn't record none of the shirts that I found, but I'm gonna show you guys what I did get. But I did record a couple of the hats. First one being the um, Anko Penguins hat right here. That one is a snapback Anko tag right there on the inside. And you have this Penguins embroider right here. And then a the little logo on the side. Second one I got from him, we got the 1998 Tennessee Bowls hat right here. And that one is by Pro Player. Still pretty clean to be an all white hat as well. And then the last one I grabbed, the Twilight uh, Break and Dawn Part 2 hat right here. And it's a strap back on the back you have only in theaters. Kind of has a weird shape to it. I don't know like what you call this hat, like this style. But I went ahead and grabbed it anyway. Moving on from those, this one right here, Definitely the best hat I found this weekend, but I kind of had to pay up on it. Probably shouldn't have paid this much for it. The last two I've gotten like this, I paid like five bucks each for. <laughs> this one I paid $40 for, which probably shouldn't have did that. But it was just too clean to pass up. 
and that is the uh, Dallas Cowboy Shark Tooth right here by Logo Athletic. Like as you guys can see, that one's like super clean still. Logo Athletic on the side, Pro Line, and then there's the inside. Just this little mark right here. Did I pay too much? Probably, but. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. What was cool about this one is actually the guy that I bought this one from is actually the same guy I bought this one from. And he actually recognized it when he seen me. And what's also funny is he told me there was a couple of salty people that actually went to him. After they found out I bought this hat from him for only 20 bucks, they told him since I have a big following that they should have charged me more. It's just funny to me. Like I hear stories like that all the time. Like, I don't know, people are so salty that they're not finding this stuff, I guess. Moving on, let me go ahead and show you the rest of the clothes that I got from the guy that I got those hats from. Like I was saying, first one we got is the 2001 Law and Order T right here. Just your uh, simple Law and Order logo. Nothing crazy on that one. Second one I got from him, we got the Jump 5 T right here. I don't know if any of you guys even remember this band, but it is on the old school Gildan tag, so went ahead and uh, scooped that one up. It has like autographs on it. I don't know if they're legit or not, but I figured I'd go ahead and grab it. And we got the 50 Cent T right here. Missing this ties tag, so I don't really know how old it is, but um, I don't know, I'll look around and see. Definitely one of my favorite ones. We got the Metal Gear Solid 4 tee right here. You got the fox with the knife in his mouth. Foxhound Special Forces Group. And then you got Metal Gear Solid 4 right there. That one's dated 2011. And that one's on an M and O Knits. Another one of my favorites, we got the Lincoln Park tee right here. You got the gas mask. And then down here, you got Lincoln Park on the Haynes Heavyweight. Then the next one, we got Dead Kennedy's band tee. Unfortunately, that one is missing tag. As you can see, somebody ripped it off, but it looks like it's probably like about a size medium. This one's newer, but I thought it was kind of cool. So I went ahead and grabbed it. We got the rancid uh, tour tee right here. And on the back, like I said, 2019, it is newer, but I'd uh, really like the graphic that was on the front. The next one we got, unfortunately it is a youth size. Uh, it's the Are We Done Yet tee from the movie. This was the sequel to Are We There Yet, the Ice Cube movie where they're like in the car or whatever. And then the last one we got is the uh, Disney tee right here. Stars and Stripes, perfect together. Tigger. There's a the tag right there, size XL. And then this stack of clothes I actually got from the same guy that I got the Elmo hat from. Uh, I paid a dollar each on all of these as well. They are youth size a couple of them, but it's whatever. Like you can't really complain for a dollar. First up, we got the little toddler Atlanta Braves majestic jersey on the back, number five Freeman. Then we got the uh, St. Louis Cardinals Mark McGuire jersey right here. That one is a youth medium, also by Majestic, and then on the back, number 25 McGuire. Next one we got, we got the Kevin Garnett Timberwolves jersey. This one does have some light stains, so I'm gonna try to wash it and see if they come out. And that one is a youth large on the back, Garnet number 21. And then the last one I got, this is definitely the biggest one I got, size 4X. We got the Indiana Pacers warm-up jersey right here by Nike. As you can see, it's a 4X, things like a blanket, and then Indiana right there embroidered on the back of the neck. And uh, just like the other one, this one does have a couple of little light stains as well, but I'm gonna wash it and see if I can get them out. Now let's move on to the sneakers. They're not really like the greatest sneakers, but for the price that I got them for, you can't really complain. First pair I picked up for $14. Only reason I picked these up is because they're like still super clean. It's a pair of the Ultra Boost 2019s right here and a women's size nine and a half. These things uh, don't look like they were worn very much, so that's why I scooped them up. There is the other one. Cool colorway. These next two I only got for $5 each. These ones still need a good cleaning, but for only $5, I mean, I went ahead and scooped them up. It's a pair of the Charlotte Jordan 10s right here in a size 13. Only a big one, but um, other than them being dirty, like they don't look like they're in bad shape. There's no like scratches or scuffing or anything. They just have some dirt on that I can get off pretty easily. And then the second pair I got for only five bucks is a pair of Dunks right here. Unfortunately, the size tag is like super rubbed off. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I, I don't know what size they are and I don't know what year they're from. So I'm gonna have to do a little research on these. Just looking at them, um, comparing them to my shoes, they look like they're probably about a size 11, 10 and a half maybe. You just have like an olive green with like, with like a hemp side panel, brown suede swoosh, and then the like hints of orange on the back and on the tongue. There's the other one. Since everybody loves their dunks right now, went ahead and scooped those up for five bucks. And then the last two pairs I picked up, I got them both two for 15. First pair we got is a pair of Nike Dunks right here, but this is not a normal Dunk, it is a golf shoe. And those are a size five Y. I had looked them up before I grabbed them. Um, it seemed like they'd still had some value to them, even though they are youth and they're golf shoes. So I went and had to scoop them up and you can't really go wrong with that colorway. And then the second pair I got from him, um, again, they need a good cleaning as well, just like the tens I got, but other than that, they're not too bad pair of the Baron 11s right here, and these are a size 7Y. I've always really liked this colorway. Um, I always like the way the marble patent leather looks on those. And you got the black suede upper, so 
simple shoe, uh, cool colorway, and um, you can never go wrong with a pair of Jordan 11s. So those are my flea market grass for this week, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, hit that like button and let me know. It helps the channel grow. Go ahead and drop a comment down below. I try to respond to all the comments I can and hit that sub button if you guys are not already and you guys did enjoy the video. And I will see you guys soon with another one. So, later. I'm a chef, chef too.